we're going to add an app state block. Now an app state block is good because it prevents the download and reboot of the controller under certain conditions. When you go into a component and you go to your status, you'll see that here there's an application status field that says no app state block. That means there's no app state block, so we're gonna add one. So I've had this area called site additions. I'm gonna right click and add a task and we're gonna call this task app state. And then we're going to put some rails on it, which means we have to swat, switch to manual layout mode. And now we're gonna do a search for app state in the block library. And we're gonna bring that over here. Now, here's where you'd have to tell it with a variable that downloads okay and reboots okay. In this case, we're just gonna put a move block. The app state block, you cannot put an immediate value on these pins. If you do, it'll fail to build. And on these move blocks, we're gonna put for enable for the download an immediate value of true and the source is going to be a one and the same thing for the reboot we're gonna enable it dash three and we're gonna put a source of zero So now, after we download this, you, won't, you will be able to download, but you will not be able to reboot. So I'm going to do a quick build. After the build, we're going to make sure that any warnings we have, we understand what they are. And this is because they had a TA come and do an upgrade on Toolbox, but they didn't upgrade the controller. So I know what that is. And now I'm going to download. Now when you go to download, as always, we want to make sure you're only downloading to the processor because that's the only place that made changes. We're going to go through and we're going to let it know a couple of times. We're okay with that. And as always, as a best practice, we're going to go to status and start our download. And once online loading is complete, we're going to make sure our firmware isn't bricked without a unknown build or build 100, not orange, not red, and that our idle time is back to normal. We're done with that. So going forward, uh, when you come here to the status, you'll see application status reboot prohibited. And if I were to change that value by going here and forcing it, you'll see download and reboot prohibited because I have disabled the download. Now just reboot. If I come here, I can say Download reboot allowed. Now for this next example, I'm gonna go ahead and put it back to the original value of no reboot being available. So now it's false for reboot, it's saying reboot prohibited. And you'll see that this next time, I'm gonna go make a download and you'll notice I get a message here right off the bat. It says the application code running in the R and S controller is preventing reboots. That's this block. And you'll also see there's some new things in the download window that we hadn't seen before. You'll see these little anti or no marks for anything that you want to do here that would require the processor and or an IO pack to reboot, it'll no longer allow it. You can still download parameters, but anything that's going to require the pack to reboot or the processor to reboot, it will not let you select. And it says, hey, you can't do that. Nope, can't do that. It's not going to let you do it. It lets you do everything but. But since we don't need a reboot, I'm just going to cancel. And that is how the app state block works. It's a good tool to have so that you don't have accident and reboots on your controller during commissioning or for someone that doesn't understand CMS, which is a common occurrence.